Hello everybody, it's Sam from the Anorax Podcast here, and uh, today is going to be the first part of a tutorial series we're doing, which is going to cover the basics of how to play Hero Clicks. Uh, today I'm going to start off by showing you very basically the character information and what your character's stats are, and I'm going to build the series up over about 10 or 10 to 15 videos, and I'm going to show you how to work out a point to a character, uh, how all the different powers and abilities work how the maps work and how they're laid out and uh, we're going to lead up and eventually in the final part we're going to I'm going to show you a full game with somebody that's only ever played by seeing these videos so hopefully this is going to give you a pretty good idea of how to play so the first thing you probably go on though is what hero clicks is and uh, what well, you know what the appeal is of the game so what it is it's a tabletop strategy game so in in the same vein as warhammer or uh, you know any of these other sort of miniature war games but obviously the appeal is that you're playing with comic book characters for the large part. And that's not only comic book characters. When I mean, you can see here, I've got a uh, piece which is Ken from Street Fighter. There's some Street Fighter hero clicks. You've also got Halo series come out, Gears of War. Um, so, and, and, oh, Lord of the Rings is obviously a massive one at the moment. Even uh, Star Trek, Star Trek Starships, which I haven't got any of, but I'm told they're quite interesting to play with. So, you know, the, the appeal to me, obviously as a comic book fan, is that I can have these battles with my favourite comic book characters and make teams. And um, also it's a strategy element. It's, it is a very strategic game and you can take the, some of the best pieces in the game. But if you don't use them right or have a sound tactic and strategy, you're not going to win. Right, so what I'm going to go over in the first video today is just going over the, the dials and stats of the characters and how you see what your character can do and what they're capable of, how far they can move, etc. Um, so basically each character, I'll just choose one random here, so um, I'll pick up Wolverine here because he's a quite a cool little sculpt there. If the uh, camera decides to autofocus, autofocus, there you go, it's a little better. So basically each character, you've got this dial here, and you've got four numbers on each character's dial. What these represent, your top number, the top number there represents how far your character can move in a turn. So obviously Wolverine's got a movement value of eight there. The value underneath is your attack value, and that's what you use when making an attack, and that's something we'll come on to in the next video and how that actually works. But Wolverine's got 11 in attack. The number underneath there is your defense value, which is obviously used if you're being attacked, and Wolverine's got a 17 there. And then on the right hand side here, you have this one, that this number on its own, and that's your damage value. So if Wolverine makes an attack and he's successful, that's how much damage he's going to do to another character. You've also got a few other symbols on a, on a base. So if you ever see this little star symbol here, that means that a character's got a special trait, which is a power that's active throughout the whole game for them. Um, for the first few videos, we're not going to go into the powers. We're just going to work on basically how the maps are laid out and what the basic values on the dials mean. We're going to do a few games like that, and then I'll start introducing the powers and traits to you. Um, the last bit you've got that's quite important on a character is this, this number and the uh, little image of the lightning symbol here. So this is a character's range for if you want to make long range attacks. Uh, Wolverine's got a range of zero, which basically means he's not going to be able to attack anybody at a distance. But if I find, uh, say, four here, four's actually got a range of seven, and he's got two symbols there, two lightning symbols. So what that means is he can target characters that are seven squares away from him, but he can also actually attack two characters from range at a time. Um, some characters you can't even get up to a, a sort of a three and that's quite handy if you can be attacking across the map and doing three characters at a time. Obviously, that's going to be quite advantageous to you. Um, some of the other things you get on the dial, each character obviously has the name of their character on the dial, so this is four. Um, you get a symbol hero. This is, doesn't always appear in all characters. Uh, so, for instance, you've got Howard Stark here, who's uh, the father of Tony Stark, and he doesn't have one of these symbols. What these symbols are, they're team abilities, and they um, they grant extra sort of sp special powers or advantages to different characters for being members of a certain team. Uh, again, that's something we won't really cover to start out with, but I will come on to that later on in the series. Um, and the last few parts you get, you've got um, this number here, so this is 150. That's how many points it's going to cost you to put that character in your team. Um, a basic game of Hero Clicks is normally played with 300 point teams, but you can play with anything from 100 points up to, I mean, you could play 1,000 points, 1,500 if you want to play a massive epic game, whatever you want. Um, you then got these logos here, and those logos, obviously, you've got um, this one here, which is the Avengers movie. Uh, you've got a Superman logo there. And what they basically are, they just represent what set the characters from. Um, Hero Clicks over time, the makers, WizKids, they release different sets. Um, 
so at the moment there's an Avengers movie set that's just come out and um, obviously that's why I've got Hawkeye here for and the Hulk they're all from that set um, they've also recently done a Superman set which is what this composite Superman's from um, there's a Galactic Guardian set that's recently come out from Marvel which covers a lot of the uh, sort of space based characters which is uh, the source of this Silver Surfer here uh, obviously you've got the Street Fighter set which is um, where I've got Ken from um, and there's always new sets coming out and they sort of cater to, they normally tend to focus on a particular either DC or Marvel and then a sort of a subset of characters. So you, there's a Batman series coming out later this year so you'll expect to see a lot of the Batman villains, Joker, Riddler, all these sort of guys. Um, the last sort of symbols you do get which um, again we're not going to go massively into at the minute until I get into the more advanced rules of the game. But for you, where your movement value is for each character, you'll see there's actually a little symbol here if the autofocus comes in. So that val that symbol there, the wing symbol, shows that this character is actually a flyer and has the flying ability. Whereas if I get someone like Hulk here, you'll see that next to his value, he's just got, instead of the wings, he's just got uh, a foot there. So that just means he's a mobile character. All he does is uh, walk, essentially, or... um. If he's Hulk, maybe a bit of jumping, but you're not going to be able to fly around the map. But again, that's something we'll come to later on when we get to the more advanced rules. So that's all I'm going to show in the first part of this series. So obviously you've seen what a character looks like, um, you've seen the values on their dial, and you know what those mean now. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to do a few more parts. I'm going to explain the maps, and I'm going to explain how damage works, how you attack someone, and how you work out whether an attack's successful. Um, I hope I'll do those in the next two or three videos, then we'll do a small game using none of the powers and special abilities but literally just the values on the dials just to um, give you an idea make sure that this is all uh, sort of making sense um, hopefully this will uh, sort of make the game appeal to you or maybe clear it up if you've got some questions um, as always if you want to find more from us you can visit www.anoraxpodcast.com and uh, I'll see you for part two soon